Hey everybody, in this video, in a Ruba Wired.1x setup for Cisco switches, we're going to set up the service in Aruba that will allow us to actually authenticate. So let's take a look at this. So if we go to configuration, we can go to service templates and wizards, and you can see right here we have a Wired.1x service. So we can put a prefix in here. Let's call this wired eve ng. That's what we'll call it. And let's go to next. For our authentication source, we're going to pick test eve ad. Click next. For our wired network settings, our switch is Cisco switch one. We saw that in the last one. We've got the radius shared secret. Good. And we're not going to do posture checks in this one. So let's click next. And enforcement details. So let's give it a default VLAN. Let's make that 70. And then if let's see if we can do this member of member of equals domain user. We'll assign a role of eighty or a VLAN of that. If member of domain admins, we'll give it a 70. And yeah, let's make this then 80. And I think that's all we want to do. Let's add service. All right, so we added this wired EVNG. So we just went through that and you can see it added three enforcement po profiles, added one enforcement policy, and added one service. So let's go through this. Service right here, wired.1g, or wired 802.evng, 802.1x. Uh, let's take a look. So it shows us the summary. Let's go through this service. So it's going to match on. NAS port type equals Ethernet and login user, frame user. So that's going to match dot wire dot one X. So that's perfect. Um, we will add authorization to this. So authentication, we're just going to remove this and TTLS. We'll remove that and leave those authentication sources. We're going to add local user repository. Authorization looks good. Roles. We're not going to have any roles in here. And enforcement. Test Eve contains domain users. So here is how this works. So this is the service. It's going to use that wired profile one or wired wired profile two. And we can add more profiles for different member of groups. So where are those? They're under enforcement. These are un enforcement profiles. So we go into profiles. We'll say yes. We'll ch save our settings. And let's look at wired so anything wired right here it's going to show us so these are my test ones and these are my new ones so wired default profile let's take a look at that so basically this will assign a vlan of 80 
let's look at profile one. This will also assign a VLAN of 80. And let's look at profile two. And that will assign a VLAN of 70. Okay, so let's look at our policy. So now we have a wired enforcement policy. And this is where it tells us. So the service called this enforcement policy. If you look up here, the service wired the enforcement. There you see the enforcement policy. So that's how that ties together. The service has the enforcement policy. The enforcement policy has the enforcement profiles. So the policy has the profiles. So right there, you can see that. All right. So now what we want to do is go to our services. Let's go to our services. So this will match. Remember this one is off. So let's see what we have right now. Let's see what we, we have to log back in. That's what we have to do. Okay. So this is our Windows machine. And I can already see right here that this has, it's getting a connection. So let's find out why. So you go to monitoring, go to access tracker, live monitoring access tracker. Here you can see it sent test Eve, Chris R. So it, it matched that policy and roles, machine authenticated, user authenticated, wired Eve, NG, wired profile. And what we can see here is it gave out, we should be able to see the IP in here. So that's for the, the output, the radius response. Tunnel group, 70. So it should be on the 70, should have a 70 IP address. So there it is, 70.20 is set up. All right, perfect. So that's, that's good. So let's, so what we'll do here is let's reboot this machine. Let's restart it. So this machine right here is connecting to the switch, which is sending, and there, there you see the actual machine name getting auth authorized also, because it is machine authenticated, that role, it's being sent in because it's connecting and it's able to be authenticated through Active Directory. So it's sending that machine authentication. So that's also working. So that's really good. So both of these are working. We just restarted. It came up, system comes up, and it has an IP. So it should have, at this point, a Let's see what we should have. So we set this up. Let's look at our service. Wired authentication. I thought I removed these. Hmm. 
Maybe I didn't save it afterwards. Let's make sure we save this. Okay. So when it first logs on, let's double check. Let's look in Access Tracker. So here it is. It's sitting at the login. It's machine authenticated. So we can go to output and see our radius response. It gets 80. See that? So it should be on the on VLAN 80 at this point. And if we look at network details, there it is, 10.150.80.21. But, and this is important, right? It goes on 80. And that is because the default. I believe that's what it's matching. Let's, let's check this. It's hitting the default profile. So that's what it's doing. It's going to hit that default profile and then it's going to go on 80. But then when we log in, watch this. So right now it's on 80 and I'm logging in. Let's see what's ha let's see what happens here. So now, if we look, we can see what VLAN it's on. No, I just want to open the command prompt. IP config. And now you can see it went to the 70 because of the policy. And if we look here, this should update. There it is. There's the login. And you can see it hit wired profile two. So you can have as many wired profiles as you want. It's real, real nice like that. And you can get really granular in how you control the access. All right, so that's all I want to show you in this video. In next video, we'll talk a little bit about access control lists that we can download automatically, downloadable ACLs, and adding that to, a, to an interface on a Cisco switch. And we'll also talk about some other security items and systems and how granular we can get with this. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it.